Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome back to Simply Nikwa. Since I haven't done a nail tutorial on my channel for a little while, I decided that this week is well and due for a nail tutorial. But I really wanted to do something different and fun and cool and something out of box for myself to get, keep things spicy for my channel. I never had my nails done professionally with a, an actual nail tech and going to a nail salon. I never have done it. I always have done it with my own nails. So a cool video idea, I was like, I'm going to go and I'm going to get my right hand side of my uh, nails done today. All professionally done like they do and I'm going to try to recreate it or depending on how they look and turn out, how I would revamp it or make it new on my left hand that I usually do when I do my nail tutorials. So that is why I have my coat on right now because I'm about to leave because my appointment's at 10. I'm excited I will have the nail tech to do whatever kind of nail design that the nail tech wants to do and uh, I'm going to be surprised just as much as you are going to be surprised. So I'm really excited. I'm ready to go. I really am hoping and praying that this will go great and go to plan. So I think that's enough rambling for the beginning of this video and so let's go ahead and start this video and let's go to our appointment. <laughs> Just got back home from the nail salon. Oh my gosh, what a cool and awesome experience I just had. So I'm not going to show you what my nails look like until the end of the video and after I have done my recreation of, the, of these nails. I'm so excited to get started. First of all, I have to say I really love the experience. I never had my nails done professionally at a nail salon before, so I just really love the experience. I just really love these nails. I just love them so much. As you see in the beginning of the video, I went to a nail salon called Varsity Nails, and the nail tech that I went to, his name was Zach. I will leave his Instagram handle right down below of this video and also in the description box as well um, if you don't look at it right this second. And so you can go ahead and look at that, his Instagram, and check him out after this video. So I would like to say thank you, Zach, for doing my nail art for this week. And I'm so excited to recreate them. So other than that, go down below and subscribe to YouTube channel if you haven't already. Or you can wait to the end and see if you like this nail tutorial see what you like I really just want to show you how you can recreate nail quality nail design nail art at home if you choose to on your own so let's go ahead and get started with this video <laughs> guys so today is the day of me recreating these beautiful nails that I got done earlier this week so the nails that I got done by Zach he did a more glass glitter look nail so I definitely want to implement that into the nails that I do on my side so I needed to get some clear fake nails to apply onto my nails so I can have that glass look so if you recreate this yourself and want to do this yourself you want to need some clear nails I I found some good clear nails on Amazon and it was like 500 pieces uh, and it's only like $8. So I leave a link to that down below so don't worry if you want to recreate this yourself you can click down there and go, go to that link. So to begin this uh, nail tutorial I have to make my own glitter concoction like Zach did when I got my nails done. So I got a bunch of different glitters at Michael's and I got a blue, I got two different holographic glitters and um, some pink glitters, some um, pearlescent glitters and I put them all in a small cup to mix them together. As you probably see here as I'm mixing them in, I got the blue, I got the pink. I had got some bigger thicker holographic glitter than um, what Zach used but also some small holographic glitter to get some dimension I uh, just want to still want to be in the same realm of what he did but I wanted to recreate it and put my stamp on it but also I got some like purple to green iridescent glitter and uh, a white to pink iridescent glitter as well that I thought would be cool to mix in with this some red glitter but I also got um, some fine black holographic glitter um, I could have got 
a more thicker ones but since I have a lot of other thicker glitters already I went with a more finer black glitter uh, holographic glitter which is so pretty I also put that in there and once I have got enough I mixed it together and I had a nail polish clear nail polish bottle already to go um, that's just a regular cheap nail polish bottle and I poured in the glitter into the nail polish bottle bada boom bada bam 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 boo it looks like you know a glitter nail polish that you bought at Walmart or wherever you buy your glitter polishes that's what it looks like but then there's some dilemmas here that I went through when I was about to polish my nails none of like the bigger holographic glitters or none of the red or the black or any of the other kind of glitters was picking up on the brush so I came to a point I had to remake my glitter concoction that I was going to do and I, I remade it um, this time I got a little heavy handed on the purple and green iridescent glitter and uh, uh, accidentally a lot of more of it went in there so this one's just a little tiny bit different but it's still pretty and it's still in the realm of what Zach did so the nails that I got done was like glitter nails but with uh, a glass feel to it so I really wanted to represent that glass feel to it into the nails that I had done so I wanted the high shine to make it like glass so I applied my favorite top coat which is the Pro FX quick dry and hot gloss top coat onto the nail before I did anything and applied the, a coat on top of each nail and even underneath the nail so at first um, I kind of tested out on my first three fingers my index middle finger and my wedding um, but all of the nails are going to get the same glitter pattern with the glitter nail polish bottle I had since not a lot of it was picking up I used the, the polish clear polish in there and I dipped it into the I put it in the glitter mix and I really just then applied it onto the nail and mush it around to uh, the whole surface of the nail and uh, took away some of it it was it was too much I made sure to leave the tips to be clear but some of the blue fine glitter is okay to be at the top because that's what what I see in what Zach did on, on my other hand so I left some of the it was okay to leave some of the like the like fine blue glitter into the tip of the nail but mostly the tip of the nail is free of nothing free of glitter and it's ma mainly clear I was fine with the amount of glitter that was on each of the nail and where it's placed and what it looks like I was done with this nail tutorial and I then went ahead and applied my favorite top coat on which is the Pro Fix Quick Dry Hand Gloss top coat and I applied that to all the nails but this time I applied two coats on top to really give that thick but glassy glossy look that resembles what I had on my other side of my nail I really hope you like this nail tutorial. I love these nails. I love the nails that Zach did on my right hand, and I love the nails that I did on my uh, left hand. I love my recreation of the nails. Like far away, they look they look the same, and mine's just a little darker, but it's just so cool. I really love to recreate nails and do. Uh, 
nail art that seems hard to do but I love to dissect the process and do it at home and show you guys how to do some awesome nails at home if you want to do it with me you got this video for you so if you really like this kind of video and you want me to go to other nail salons or do other things like that or um, do other nail art uh, recreations and put my little stamp to this the recreations that I found online or something like that please leave your comments down below also check out his Instagram and it's really it will be down in the description box and also down on the bottom of this video so go ahead and check his Instagram out and I really really hope that you really like this please leave your comments down below of what you think like did you like Zach's creation nails or did you like my recreation or do you like both like which ones did you like what was your thoughts about both thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you back next week with another bye